This presentation is about the bacteria that anti-cancer is engineering to cure cancer. It has been known for more than 150 years that cancer patients who got bacterial infections sometimes were cured of their cancer. Recently, novel approaches to developing tumor therapeutic bacteria have been described. At anti-cancer, we have developed the bacterium Salmonella typhimurium to target cancers while not growing in normal tissue. We have developed an oxytroph, termed Salmonella typhimurium A1, which allows the bacteria to specifically target tumor cells, but not normal tissue. The oxytroph requires the amino acids arginine and leucine in order to grow. It appears that tumors supply these two amino acids that the engineered bacteria needs better than normal tissue does. Therefore, this bacteria can target the tumor without toxicity to the host. The engineered Salmonella typhimurium strain was first transformed with green fluorescent protein or GFP to make it imageable in animals with which it is infected. The bacterium was treated with the mutagen nitrosoguanidine and various mutants were isolated. One mutant requiring both leucine and arginine, a double oxytroph, retained its ability to kill tumors, but lost its ability to grow in normal tissue. This slide shows a cancer cell, which is labeled with green fluorescent protein in the nucleus and red fluorescent protein in the cytoplasm, infected by the salmonella Typhimurium A1 GFP seen as small dots in the cytoplasm of this cancer cell. This slide shows the progression of bacterial growth in cancer cells. We can see the GFP expressing bacteria growing and then causing apoptosis of the cancer cells we can see even the nuclei being fragmented due to the growth of the bacteria. This slide shows a number of different types of cancer cells including pancreatic cancer, sarcoma, and lung cancer being infected and killed by the Salmonella typhimurium A1R bacterium. This slide shows a time course of infection of a cancer cell by the engineered bacterium. We can see over a period between 60 minutes and 200 minutes how the bacteria kills the cancer cell by apoptosis. This is a movie showing cancer cells that are infected by the A1R mutant. The cancer cells are expressing GFP in the nucleus and RFP in the cytoplasm. The bacteria also express GFP. We can see how the cancer cells, when infected by the bacteria, have their cytoplasm destroyed and then die. The original S. typhimurium A1 mutant was passaged through a tumor and re-isolated. The strain isolated was called A1R and we found that it had much greater tumor targeting ability than the original mutation. We can see both from the graph and from the photos of the A1R targeting cancer cells that it has much more affinity for the cancer cells than the original A1 mutation that we, did, that we isolated. This is a movie where we see bacteria in the living animal going through a blood vessel to target cancer cells that are already growing in the animal. The bacteria 
express green fluorescent protein. And the cancer cells express green fluorescent protein in the nucleus and red fluorescent protein in the cytoplasm. The next series of experiments will be a human prostate cancer mouse model treated with S-type murium A1R. When injected intravenously, the A1R bacteria accumulate selectively in the tumor. Here we see live tumor cells infected with the A1R bacterial mutant after IV injection. This slide shows an orthotopic model of human prostate cancer with the prostate cancer cells growing in the prostate of the mouse and expressing GFP. We see the untreated animal at the top in which the tumor grows extensively, metastasizes, and kills the animal. In the bottom series, we see the animal treated with A1R. The tumor stops growing and eventually disappears. The animal is cured. The slide shows a survival curve of the animals with the orthotopic prostate cancer tumor treated with A1R. We can see that 40% of the animals were cured by the A1R. These results showed that an orthotopic human prostate cancer model when treated by A1R had a doubling of the 50% survival time and four out of the ten treated mice were cured. We then treated a human breast cancer model in nude mice with A1R. The tumor had grown to a rather large extent before being treated with A1R. We can see by day five the tumor begins to become necrotic due to the treatment and by day 25 the tumor is essentially cured. Quantitative data show that the untreated tumors grow rapidly and that the treated tumors regress. We can see that the breast cancer in this model is highly vascularized and that many bacteria, the A1R, can enter the tumor. We can see here with fixed and stained tissue that A1R extensively targets the breast tumor in the nude mouse model. Survival data show that the animals that were treated with A1R survived much better than the untreated animals where all the animals died due to the breast tumor. In the treated group, 40% of the animals were cured. In conclusion, from this experiment, we see that s typomerium A1R effectively targets the human breast cancer in the mouse model. The treated animals survive to a much greater extent than the untreated animals and four of the ten animals that were treated were cured.